Listen, Tommy, I have a delicate job for you. I don't know anyone else who could do it better than you. You're a good driver, and you have experience. Well, to make it simple, tomorrow all the best motors are going to race at the city track. And I bet on one kid who's been a favorite up until now. I helped him along in his career a little. I like fast cars, and I said to myself that I could make back a little on that investment. You understand? And then Ralphie starts saying that some European has come over, and his car is certain to win. Ralphie knows cars. He's real good with them. But otherwise, he's a complete moron. What, he couldn't have told me before I bet on the kid? But still, what the hell is a guy, God knows from where, doing here? These are American races. Me and the consigliere here were thinking about what to do. Because a lot of our boys have bet the same as me, and they certainly wouldn't be happy if they lost their dough. And how would that make me look? Like an old idiot. Tommy, I can't let that happen. We thought, with our consigliere, about what to do with it. If something happens to him, that's no way. It won't be fair play. I won't enjoy my winning at all. Ralph told me that he knows a guy who guards the racetrack garage. Tonight, you're gonna go there and take this European's car to a but mechanic who knows his way around these machines. He'll take a look at theirs and maybe improve ours. As soon as he's finished working on it, you'll take it back. It's important that the car is back in its place before anybody catches on. And don't even think but about crashing it or getting I caught by the cops. Are we clear? Yes, boss. If you pull it off, you'll of course get a share of the winnings. Now go. Ralph will tell you where and how. Hey, Ralphie, you got some news about this job? Sh sh sure, Tommy. You need to go to the s s city racetrack and borrow that m m m m m motor there. My f f friend b b b Bobby works there. You go around back there and uh, along the w way is the gate g gatehouse. T t t t tell Bobby that Ralph sent you and Bobby will take you to the car. It's already been agreed b b b with him. And then? Y you just have to take it to the auto service of my f f friend Luca Bertoni. It's in Newark under the Giuliani Bridge. He'll t t t t t take a look at it and, and t t tune it a little. And then you just take it back. This should be easy enough. But you, you, you gotta get it done before 1.15 a.m. when the g g guard changes so that nobody n n n knows that somebody drove the motor in the night. There can't even be a scratch on it, and, 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 and try to avoid the cops. They, 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 they mustn't catch you. Hmm. And how'll I get there? Well, I got something new in. Ain't no big thing to s s swipe one. B -b 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 watch. You just stick a piece of w w wire in here and twist it a, a, a little and you get inside where you gotta join these two wires. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, Ralphie. Now don't you go sparing the gas, Tom. <laughs>
Evening. You must be Ralph's friend. That's right. Okay, we'll take your car. Go in and over to the garage. Okay, we're here, buddy. Come on, we haven't got a lot of time. Okay, is that it? Yeah, buddy, be real careful. There can't even be a scratch on it. And avoid the cops like the devil, because this car will be real obvious. That's right. In about half an hour, the second guard will come. So you gotta be back by then, buddy. And be real careful, that car goes fast. Maybe it's the fastest car in the world, who knows? Sure, Bobby, no problem. I'll take care of it in a half hour.
Hey there. You're from Mr. Salieri, right? I'm Lucas Bertoni. Hi, I'm Tom. They say you can take the bite out of this monster. I reckon so. Well, you'd better get moving. We only have 27 minutes left. Hmm. That ain't much time. We'll see what could be done. You can hang out a while. Hey, how's it going in there? Just finished. You can go. Uh, but you're gonna have to hurry. It ain't gonna run as well as when you first brought it in. Thanks. Mr. Salieri appreciates your work. Sure, give my regards to him. If he ever needs anything again, I'd be glad to help out. I'd bet on the same driver as him.
So you pulled it off, buddy. And the car isn't even scratched. Thanks, Bobby. It really was the fastest car in the world. Sure is. We're lucky you managed it. I bet on the Don's car, too. It seems everybody did. I bet on it. So did almost everybody in my neighborhood. I figure the driver's pretty important, too. Sure. Well, I won't keep you. Good night. Take care, Bobby. Thanks for the help. <laughs>